Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. For all my returning friends, hello again. This is the second part of the Timu haul because the previous video to this, I had cut it short because it was getting a little too long and I still had a ton of things left to share. So, like I said, this is the part two. So let's just uh, jump into things here. Okay. The first thing um, that I'm gonna sh share is this custom name placard plate thingy um, that I purchased for my son. So his name is Christopher and he doesn't like Chris. He likes the full Christopher. So I picked this up for him to put on his desk in his room and it's like in the uh, Disney font so it just looks like this now you can get them um, two ways this I put it as the first letter is capital and the rest of them they look like they're capital but they are smaller so I picked the first option if you pick the second option, all the letters in the name will be, sorry for the dry hands, will be this size, if that makes sense. So it'll be all capital, but this way I just have the first letter as capital and then the rest, they look capital, but they're smaller caps, if that makes any sense. That was a long explanation, but I picked that up and it does stand but I grabbed that for him. And then I also picked up for his um, Apple Watch, the little Apple Watch stand. This was, in, in, I keep on saying inexperienced, inexpensive. This was 77 cents, so I grabbed one in black and then the pink one for myself is coming. It's not in this order but that's the black one there and for my watch i picked up this bling bling little transparent um case to protect the screen of the watch so i like to switch them out like right now i have this um protective case around the watch the face of the watch so i grabbed this one which is also clear transparent one but it just has like the rhinestones around the face and I also picked up some of these um, screen protectors so when I don't want the bulky casing I can just rock just the screen protector so this is a pack of four so I'm gonna split it with my son and I grabbed a phone case for myself. It says good things take time, which the time, the M looks like a V and a W, but you get what you pay for. As you can see, the, the M looks like a V and a W combo, but it's supposed to say good things take time. And it just comes in this here. I'm seeing it's transparent iPhone case here. This is what it looks like outside of the packaging. It just looks like this. And it's just a silicone kind of soft case. And that was a dollar eleven. So I grabbed that. This next item is a hoot because <laughs> I kid you not, I will insert a picture to show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, so on the Timu website, I swear to goodness, I thought this was an actual ice tray, um, silicone ice tray. I had no idea it was going to be mini, like a miniature one. Like this is a joke. Like look how small it is. Like I said, I will insert a picture of the ad posting on the Timu website but I thought this was like a legit sized ice cube tray with the heart shapes 
but like look how itty bitty like my hair is on it and everything because it's silicone but it's super small so yeah thankfully this was a dollar 23 so yeah that's just really funny that it's that small and then this is another hoot but in a good way so this sign they had like a whole bunch of street signs they're calling them metal tin street signs but they had like a whole bunch that says like a whole bunch a whole array of things on it but this one caught my eye because it was just so funny it was 224 it says a big booty boulevard now this is going to go into my office i just thought this was hilarious like you can't take life too seriously so this is just super funny it came a little bent but overall it's not too bad so i grabbed that and if i remember at the end of the video i will attempt to do a demonstration of this thingy here this says cap gun it's a um what's it called to take off the bottle caps off the bottles this was a dollar 87 i grabbed the red one because the red one was on the one that was on sale regular price they're like 234 and they had it in black and gray but like i said the red one was the one that was on sale so as you can see there's the opening there for the bottle cap and then you're supposed to just put this on place it on the bottle cap and I guess just take it off and then it's supposed to shoot the bottle cap out there's the little trigger there and it does work so like see it does operate so if I do remember at the end of the video I'll put in like I'll insert a little clip of me using it and hopefully it will work so yeah okay moving along get some of this stuff out the way the next item i grabbed is a new travel size um backpack so i got it in this pink color this was 16.99 i think i'm gonna have to like lift y'all up so that y'all can see the gist of the backpack here so this is what it looks like here. It does have a lot of compartments. So this is a zipper there, one up here, there. So it has a lot of compartments. It does have the buckles on the side that you can extend. There's four, two on either sides. And one side has the um, pocket for your water bottle. The other side has it for um, your charger and what I really love about this bag is the amount of like cushiony sections that it has so this here you unbuckle and if you want to buckle it across your waistband like your waist I should say you can or your chest depending on how tall or short you are where it will hit you and then on the back it does have another zipper compartment which i thought was really nice but like i said i really like all the padding that it does have and this part here i should show you um where your water bottle goes it does have like a little gusset for to accommodate larger water bottles which is really nice and it's um that material like a vinyl type of thing where you can wipe it clean and then let's get into it. So the top portion has three zippers, as y'all can see. And let's see how well I can do this one handed, which I can't. So let's just open each compartment and then I will lift y'all up. So this is the front, the front pocket portion and it also has the wipeability where you can clean it if anything spills on the inside and then the second section I'll open that up 
and there you are. So the inside there is the USB cord that it comes with that I was showing you the outside portion of it. There is the attachment in there and then on the inside in the second um, compartment it has these little um, other sections I should say and they do have zippers as you can see there which is really roomy and then the back section I'm like dropping y'all sorry about that the back section is where you can put your laptop it's very well made and protective this is the back section here for your laptop. It just looks like that. And I want to say it houses a 15 inch laptop, I want to say. I think that's what it is. I haven't checked it with my laptop yet because I have two. I have a 17 inch and I have a 15 inch. And I want to say this is okay to carry the 15 if I'm not mistaken but like I said I haven't checked it but I believe it's for the 15 because they had a larger backpack but I took I picked the smaller one of the two so I think this one is the 15 inch um, laptop capability to carry it instead of the 17 but yeah, and then this is the bottom here. I believe you can put shoes. That's why it has like the two holes there to like air it. Yeah, so at the bottom it just looks like this. I guess it's for shoes. Or maybe it's just there to like air out the rest of the things. I'm not sure actually. Because it is attached to the center portion of the backpack but yeah okay so took a long time on that my apologies okay so let's get into the shirts okay this this haul is just a hoot altogether this is an <laughs> this is the shirt that cracked me up when i saw it i wasn't expecting the material to be so superb i was actually planning on wearing it around the house like as a sleep shirt that I might wear it outside in the yard when I'm cutting the grass or like doing landscaping whatever but things in the yard I wouldn't wear it like going out to the grocery store kind of thing but it's really funny so it says friends are like boobs some are big some are small some are real some are fake I just thought that was so stinking funny and all the t-shirts that I'm going to be showing were under $7. So I just thought that was really cute and funny at the same time. And this is the material. It has like a sheen, but it's not see-through, which is nice. It's really, really thick. Very well made. So I got that. This is another funny one. But this one, you have to wear like a tank top, camisole, or another white tee underneath it because it is extremely see-through. So this one says, if you see me talking to myself, move along. We're having a team meeting. This is what this one here looks like. And like I said, this is super duper see-through. You can see my hand inside there. It is so see-through. So you gotta wear something underneath if you don't want your parts and your garments to be exposed to the world. So I got that. This one here was really nice too. And it is a thicker t-shirt. It's almost the same uh, material as the first one, minus the sheen. So this is what this one looks like here. I'm just gonna run through them quickly because I have quite a bit. This one is gonna be a sleep shirt just because it's super duper shiny and you can see the white stitching. It's just not 
really well made but what it says is funny it says let me pour you a tall glass of get over it oh and here's a straw so you can suck it up and it just has the hen on it i just thought that was hilarious but as you can see it's super shiny it's that material and where the stitching the seams meet you can see the stitching so it's not the greatest quality but i'm gonna wear it as a sleep shirt so i got that and this one here just says boy mom this is a really really nice material it's super soft and it's just this dark gray mixed and it's not see-through which is nice so i can wear that out this next one came in three colors so i picked the green because the green was on sale i remember this one was 567 um they had the blue and they also had like this color dark gray but like i said i picked the green now i don't drink coffee but the saying was really nice they didn't have one that says tea I love the smell of coffee, but I can't drink it. it. gives me a massive headache. But I just thought this was really cute. It says, this mama runs on coffee and Jesus. And then it's plain on the back. But it has the nice saying on the front. Next t-shirt, try to move a little faster, is for Christopher. His two favorite subjects in school are math and science, not in that order. He loves science first, then math. But this one says math, the subject that counts. I thought that was hilarious because math obviously has numbers and you do count. So it's like a double meaning, math, the subject that counts, get it? I don't know, a little mom joke, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, laughing at my own jokes. And, I don't know where the other one is there is a science one that i bought for him oh here it is okay this is another play on words this one says let's have a moment of science instead of silence science i just thought that was funny he gets a hoot out of it he got a chuckle so i guess that's all that matters and this one here is more like an english um t-shirt says there are people who didn't listen to their teacher's grammar lessons and they're driving me nuts so if you know you know the proper there there and there is to use in given circumstances so i thought that was funny it's teaching without teaching and then this one here is a rather short t-shirt which i didn't like but i like what it has on it it says dogs make me happy humans make my head hurt it's a little on the shorter side but on uh, it's big like width wise if that makes any sense lengthwise it's shorter almost like a crop shirt crop t-shirt but on the sides it's wide i don't really like that cut so this is going to be a house shirt I'm not gonna wear that out in the streets this one i'm telling you this whole haul is like a funny haul so i saw this shirt <laughs> this made me laugh when i saw it online this is really really good quality oops i dropped y'all sorry about that it says thick thighs good vibes so i thought this was really cute and funny at the same time definitely going to be rocking this in the streets because that's funny just wear my black leggings with that because it is an oversized shirt and I did go up two sizes in it because I wanted it to be super baggy and roomy to wear with my leggings and as you can see, it's a very good material. It does have a little sheen to it, but it's not overly shiny. And if y'all can hear that, I'm sorry. I'm over, I'm in the office and I'm over, the room is over the laundry room. So if you can hear that banging, it's the dryer. I apologize. 
not the dryer, the washer, jeez, I don't even know my things. This is another funny shirt. <laughs> this says, cluck around and find out, has the little rooster, not a rooster, a hen, chicken, whatever you wanna call it. But it's in this light blue, and this is a cotton uh, t-shirt. It's not that like polyester, there we go. Material, just the writing is kind of shiny, if you can see that. It's like that iron-on kind of material there. Okay, moving along. This one is another one for Christopher because he wants to be a neurologist when he grows up. So I got the brain and it just has the different sections of the brain. So I got that for him. He's really stoked about that shirt. This is another, um, what's it called? Fishland win. I don't know if it's just me or if this is like across the board with everyone. Please comment down below. Has the Fishland and Farmland games like been getting harder? Meaning like they're not giving you as much like water to complete the games. Like I understand whatever you pick, it goes off of the value. I get it. But it just seems like back in the day, it was like easier to obtain the gifts, like the items that you chose. I don't know. But this one here, I picked this last fall and I'm literally just winning it now. And we're already in March. Today is March 23rd when I am filming. And I'm literally just getting this now. And I just got this package yesterday, which was the 22nd. And like I said, I had picked this on Fishland, the Fishland game since the fall. And I'm just winning it now. But anyways, I digress. So this one says, fall is proof that change is beautiful. So it just looks like this. And on the back, it just has that um, continued like paint splatter look to it. So that wasn't purchased, that was free through the Fishland game that took forever to win. Okay, this is a cute shirt as well. This one says, God turns broken pieces into masterpieces. Give him your pieces. I thought that had a really, really nice message. So I grabbed this here and it has like the mosaic, um, butterfly there almost looks like a stained glass um pitcher so i got that sorry i'm trying to go quickly i had hauled the sweatshirt in this and this is the t-shirt and it just says in my mom era with like the little 60s 70s types of little flowers there I'm trying to grab all the t-shirts here. I told you there was a lot. Okay, so this one here is a super shiny material. It's kind of see-through, but not really. You could wear um, a shirt underneath it, but at the same time, mm, given your undergarment, you can get away with it. So the front is just a plain black shirt, as you can see. So I'll show you how see-through it is, and then like you can I guess when if you buy it you can use your discretion it's sort of see-through but not as nearly as see-through as the white one that I had showed previously shown previously but on the back it's for firefighters kind of thing so it's just like homage to firefighters it has the axe and the American flag and it's like red line kind of thing we do have two pants but let's get through the t-shirts first this is a t-shirt okay see this is another shirt that i picked last year in the fishland game but i'm just getting it now so this is like a christmas shirt so this is what i'm talking about so this one says it's either serial killer documentaries or christmas movies we either slay in 
or slaying. Another play on words. I just thought that was funny. If you get it, you get it. So I got that. Another shirt that I got on Fishland that I'm just getting now this year, but I picked it since last year. If you know, you know, it says, I smell children and it has the Sanderson sisters on the top from the movie Hocus Pocus. And another Christmas shirt with the Christmas tree. And it's like, you live Christmas kind of thing. Okay, has the heart rate. I got a Austin 316 shirt, wrestling homage kind of thing. My brother's favorite wrestler, he doesn't wrestle anymore, but Stone Cold Steve Austin. So I got this for my brother. It's actually thicker than I thought it was going to be. It's a really, really thick material, which is nice. My brother will like that to add to all of his other Stone Cold Steve Austin shirts. And this one is another funny one. It says a little country, a little hood. It just all looks like this. And it's in that nice dark gray mix color. That's really soft as well. Let's see, are those all the t-shirts? Okay, so now we're getting into the sweatshirts. Okay, see, I'm telling you, funny. This one is a sweatshirt. I wasn't expecting it to be super shiny like this, but it's funny nonetheless. And it's on the shorter side as well. It's almost like a, a little cropped, but I like the bottom band of it. So that makes up for it. It's kind of wide, but short lengthwise. But it's hilarious because this is one of my favorite shows that I watch, The First 48. So it says, roses are red, people are fake. I stay to myself, so I won't be on the next 48. The next on, be, won't be on the first 48 so I just thought that was hilarious and okay we're almost finished here hang in there with me please this is another shirt another sweatshirt with the nice wide band at the bottom this one is a ribbed band and if you know you know it says I'll be there for you and the last sweatshirt I picked up is actually a hoodie and it says Nurse Strong. I got this in two sizes bigger. So it's super oversized, which is nice. And it has the kangaroo pocket, the wide ribbed band. And this is what it says here. Nurse Strong it has the white drawstrings and the hoodie. And the last two clothing items. Nope, I lied. I have another long sleeve. Whoops. Okay, this is the last long sleeve, I promise. This one is nice and simple, and it's also oversized. Went up two sizes in it. It says homebody. I believe this is a, yep, yeah, I went up two sizes. That way I could get it super duper oversized, because my sweatshirts, I usually pick an extra large either a large or a large at large or an extra large and this one I went up in the extra to XL because I wanted it super baggy and it does have the wide band at the bottom because I like to wear um my sweatshirts layers I always like have a t-shirt underneath it so when I have my t-shirt I don't want it to be clinging to me so, and this actually is generously cut. So it's a double XL, but it's larger, if that makes any sense, because it is roomy. Okay, now the last two clothing items are pants. This is really thin. I'm gonna have to wear this in the house. Like this is straight see-through. And y'all see that? This will focus. And it's not going to focus well enough, but it is super see-through. It is a dark gray, but it's see-through. This was seven something, I wanna say 770 something, but it has a little star, monochromatic, like a lighter gray, 
um, color on the side. It's just a star and it's just um, elastic waistband. You just pull on. This I got in a medium and they has, it flares out at the bottom a little bit like a bell bottom and then it has another star detail on the, what side would that be? On the left lower pant leg. And then the other star is on the right upper like hip part of the pant. And then the last pants I got is just to wear to the gym. It's just, um, I really don't like the little elastic at the bottom, but it's just at the pant leg. I don't like this. I usually like my pants like just open, almost like this one versus this, but it will be fine. It's just for the gym. So this is what the pant leg looks like. It has the elastic band and then it just has the drawstring and it's just an elastic waistband and this I got in a large because like I said I was planning on wearing it to the gym and it does have two side pockets are there any in the back no there's nothing in the back but yeah and it's a little thin but I always wear like there you can see it's really thin it's like there you go you can see it's thin but I wear like little biking shorts underneath so it won't be too bad so I picked that up and this black pants was $11.88 and then the last item I'm going to have to open and spread out that y'all can see is another throw blanket for my brother this is in the size, it's the same size that I had bought the last time. Um, this is showing centimeters. This is 150 by 200 centimeters. This is how it comes packaged. There you go. There is the size of the dimensions of the row. So it comes vacuum sealed in this bag. And then on the side, it has like a notch show y'all before I open it and spread it out for you to see. Um, I'm really not mine. There's a notch on the side of the bag. Here it is. There's the notch right there that you just rip into the bag. I kid you not. That way it's easier to open and you just tear into it and then you can see it starts fluffing itself up coming to life so i'm going to open this up and show y'all what it looks like opened up hopefully there's no spelling errors on it we'll find out that together so one second here please okay so in one of the spare rooms it's a queen size bed so you can see that the blanket pretty much covers the mattress for the most part. It's just a little bit down at the end. You can see the mattress is exposed. But so on the left side of the throw blanket, it says, you are my sunshine down under there. Next, it says, I am so proud of you. Under that, it says, believe in yourself. And then on the right side, it says to my brother, I just want to let you know you mean so much to me. Once a brother, always a brother, no matter the distance, no matter the difference, and no matter the issue. Thank you for being you. Always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you see, than you seem, smarter than you think, love more than you know. Wherever you are, you will always be in my heart. My heart will always love you. So that is the overview of this throw. Mm -hmm. Top piece, top. So it's the top, it's not the actual trigger. So it did open it. 
So there's the bottle cap. And there is an actual mechanism at the top with a spring. So we'll see if it'll, is this do anything? It doesn't shoot it out. It does not shoot it out, but it's lodged in there. So this mechanism at the top does not work either, but it does take it off. Okay, so when you remove the bottle cap from underneath here, you're supposed to, as like a game, I guess, push it in here. And you don't need to use the trigger. The trigger is just a dummy, but there is a lever here with a spring that I guess it pushes it back. See, it pulls it back. There, see, it pulls it back. Hold on. Okay, so it does pull it back, I guess. Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. And then you can shoot it out. Well, that concludes this Timu haul. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.